manures properties and methods of preparation at the end of this lesson you will be able to define and describe manures explain the properties of manures and explain the method of preparation of manures india is one of the developing nations whose economy is dependent more on agriculture than any other country in the world it is a country well known for its agricultural heritage and has a 10000 year old agricultural history during this period we have come across several changes in the cultivation practices the recent developments in the field of agriculture include the use of fertilizers wherein the use of fertilizers has indeed resulted in tremendous crop growth and yield however continuous use of commercial fertilizers may lead to an increase in the occurrence of toxicity and diseases in humans hence it is necessary to seek an alternative for these fertilizers in this context the organic manure used by our ancestors can serve as a viable alternative for the fertilizers by applying organic manures we can maintain and increase the soil fertility in a sustainable manner following the use of organic manures in agriculture sikkim became the first organic state in india it's high time that the other states of india also transform themselves to fully organic in terms of agricultural practices come let us learn about the properties and preparation methods of organic manures manures are generally denoted as products that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without addition of chemical components they release nutrients to the soil after decomposition the practice of collecting and using the manures from organic wastes is perhaps an old technique derived from the ancient agriculture practices now let us discuss about the properties of manures in detail manures are said to be one of the key constituents which provide various nutrients to the soil they contribute to improve the physical chemical and biological properties of the soil the manures applied to the soil provide vital nutrients to the plants which are only available at a relatively deeper depth they also have the influence on texture and structure of the soils it also helps to minimize the moisture loss from soil due to evaporation based on the concentration content of the nutrients manures can be classified into bulky organic manures and concentrated organic manures first let us discuss about the bulky organic manures manures which are naturally bulky in nature are said to be bulky organic manures they contain minimal amounts of nutrients which have a direct impact on the plant growth hence they should be applied in larger quantities supplying organic matter to the soil increases the soil aggregation thus developing the physical condition of the soil manure also supplies carbon to the soil which can be used as food by the soil microorganisms this in turn increases the microbial growth converting the unusable plant nutrients to the usable form some of the examples are farmyard manures green manures vermicompost and sludge now let us discuss on the preparation of farmyard manures farmyard manure is one of the most valuable organic types and is considered as the primary organic manure type in many parts of the world it is denoted as the combination of solid and liquid excreta from farm animals along with the litter and balanced material through rough ages in general well decomposed farmyard manure consists of 0.5% nitrogen 0.2% diphosphorus pentoxide and 0.5% potassium oxide as we already know the farmyard manure can be prepared from cow dung cow urine litter and waste ages first a trench should be prepared with a size of 6 meters long 2 meters wide and 1 meter deep then 
the available litter is spread across the animal shed for urine absorption. After this process, the trench is filled with the bedding materials such as cow dung, cow urine and waste straw. The process is continued using the daily collections. When it is filled about 0.5 meter from the ground level, the top of the heap is rounded and plastered with cow dung slurry. This manure will be ready to use after 4 to 5 months. It is also noted that application of superphosphate at the ratio of 20 kilograms per ton of manure gives better results. Now, let us discuss about the concentrated organic manure. Concentrated organic manures have high amounts of essential plant nutrients compared to the bulky organic manures. Hence, very minimal amount is required for its application in the soil. This manure is derived from either animal or plant origin. Some of the examples of concentrated organic manure are oil cake, meat meal, fish meal and corn meal. Now, let us discuss about the preparation of oil cake. In general, oil is extracted from oil seeds. In this process, after the soil is extracted, the remaining soil proportion can be dried and used as oil cake. Oil cakes can be classified into two types, namely edible oil cake and non-edible oil cake. Both types of oil cakes can be used for the application of manures. However, it is reliable to use edible oil cakes as cattle feed and non-edible oil cakes as manure. The average amount of nutrients present in the oil cake is 5% of nitrogen, 1.8% of diphosphorus pentoxide and 1.6% of potassium oxide. However, it may vary depending on the type of oil cakes. Hence, the nutrients which are present in the oil cakes are made available to the plants only after its application for 7 to 10 days. It is also necessary to powder the oil cake before applying to achieve better yields. Well, that has been an interesting lesson about properties, methods and preparation of manures. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far. Manures are generally denoted as products that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without addition of chemical components. Manures are the key constituents of the cultivated soils. Manures contribute to improve the physical, chemical and biological properties of the soil.